Hi, Eileen Bayer, the fam here. Welcome to another installment in our anti-stress activities and challenges. And in today's installment, we will be covering how yoga can help ease anxiety and panic disorder. So, how can yoga help ease anxiety and panic disorder, you ask? Well, let me explain. There are many ways panic disorder can impact your life. The symptoms of panic disorder can affect your mind, body, and general well-being. Panic attacks, the main feature of a panic disorder, are typically accompanied by many negative thoughts and distressing physical symptoms. These thoughts and feelings are often difficult to manage and can lower one's quality of life. Despite the challenges of panic attacks and other anxiety symptoms, there are many self-help strategies that can assist you in coping with panic disorder. Numerous self-care activities and relaxation te techniques are available to help you feel more calm, peaceful, and in control. Some of the most common relaxation strategies include breathing exercises, progressive muscle relaxation, and visualization. These techniques have been found to reduce anxiety and may even help you manage your panic symptoms. Yoga is an activity that actually encompasses all three of these common relaxation techniques. Additionally, yoga has been known to help ease stress, reduce feelings of nervousness, and enhance mindfulness. For these reasons, yoga has been considered to be potentially beneficial for people with anxiety disorders, including panic disorder. So what is yoga? Well, yoga is believed to have originated in India over 5,000 years ago. Derived from the ancient Indian language of Sanskrit, the term yoga means to yoke or unite. Yoga practice involves a joining of the body, mind, and spirit through breath work, meditation, movement, and relaxation. Yoga can help restore a sense of personal balance. Yoga has become a popular way to renew the body by increasing strength, improving balance, and enhancing flexibility. Many people are devoted to the yoga lifestyle that includes a practice beyond physical exercise. Numerous non-exercise aspects of yoga, such as breathing exercises and meditation, can help calm a busy mind and assist in letting go of stress. Given the many stress reduction benefits of yoga, it is not surprising that yoga can also be helpful in managing fears, panic, and anxiety. How yoga can help with panic disorder? Well, there are many uncomfortable physical symptoms of panic and anxiety, such as feelings of tension, tightness, and pain sensitivity. Yoga postures known as asanas, people help ease the physical discomfort that is caused by anxiety. Asanas work to stretch, lengthen, and balance the muscles. These postures can assist in releasing built-up muscle tension and stiffness throughout the body. Yoga poses are often taught in sequences that can be powerful form of physical exercise. There are many ways in which exercise benefits panic disorder, including a reduction in pain and stress. Yoga not only helps in easing the physical body, but it also helps with the anxious thoughts. Negative thinking patterns and frequent worries are often common for those diagnosed with panic disorder. Meditation, visualization, and focusing on breath can help with letting go of worry and fear. The overall practice of yoga can elicit the relaxation response, allowing both 
the body and the mind to gain a sense of calm and ease. Yoga can also be a great way to meet other people and feel more connected to a sense of community. Many people with panic disorder and agoraphobia are faced with issues of loneliness and isolation. Participating in a yoga class can be one way to begin to socialize while working towards personal wellness. So, finding a yoga class to help ease anxiety symptoms, how do you go about doing that? Well, yoga has become a mainstream form of exercise, relaxation, and spiritual growth. Most likely, there are many yoga classes offerings in your area. Some yoga instructors even offer classes that are specially geared towards certain issues, such as anxiety or depression. So check out the different yoga studios, recreation centers, spas, and community classes to find one that fits your needs. And as I just read, yoga is very good um, for help relieving your stress. It involves like the a lot of the things that I have covered in earlier installments, like meditation, um, movement, exercise is healthy for your body, mind, and spirit, and yoga covers all of the benefits. And as you can see by this picture, a lot of the poses are not hard. So if you're a beginner, check out yoga. There's probably online um, things that you can do, you can research it, but it's a great way to help fight anxiety and stress. Now remember the number one thing here. None of these techniques that I have covered are to, be, to replace medication. I implore each and every one of you to stay on your medication. You don't know the effects that just jumping off your medication can help. And before you do any type of physical activity, talk with your doctor about the different things, like the Mediterranean diet, um, the yoga, the meditation. Keep communications open between you and your doctors dealing with your anxiety disorder or any other mental illness. While that communication is open, you can work together. And when and if he feels that you have gotten to that point in time where you can lessen your medication maybe or get off of it, your doctor will tell you never ever do anything without consulting your doctor first. Some people, they can't do a lot of these for different type of health reasons. That's why there's different um, things that each and every one of us can do, like the gratitude anybody can do. All you need to do is be able to read and write. As long as you can read and write, you just put down... Start your morning by putting down some things that you are grateful for. That starts you on a good mood. Okay? Then, if the doctor says, you can do the meditation. Now, I am going to be doing another um, segment. It's going to be another playlist. And it's going to be more detailed on all the different areas that I've covered and how to do, um, make simple things at home if you're on a budget and you don't have the money to go out and order the different things like stress balls and stuff that you can have around you on your desk. If you're at work, at like say you work at home or even if you work in an office, there are small things that you can carry with you, things that you can make at home. I mean, you'll have to spend a little bit of money, but not that much for most of the items I'm going to be showing you how to do. I will go in detail on the yoga in the next um, section that I'm going to be doing when this one's done. I will be doing a detailed meditation um, to help you out. 
detailed, um, what a detailed Mediterranean diet is and clash diet. I'm going to go a little bit deeper in the next segment. All this is to show you, this segment here, is to show you the different techniques that you can use to help lessen your anxiety and stress to go along with your medication. But I want you to know how to do them. I can't say, okay, yoga is good for you, and not you not knowing how to do it is not going to help you. So in the next segment, everything that I have covered in this one here, I'm going to go in detail in each and every one so you know how to do it. You can um, make some of the things at home to help you out. And then when you go somewhere, like if you're going to work, you can do it. Me at home, I have, whoops, sorry about that. I have this. But you can't carry this everywhere. It's just a desk punching bag, you know, you stick it here and you punch, okay? But as I said, you can't carry, if you're going to work, you can't carry that big thing with you. So I'm going to show you some simple things that you can make at home with simple ingredients, simple things. You may have to spend like $2 for something or a dollar something. It's not a lot of money. But you can make simple things at home. So that's it for this, and before I go, let me just remind you, because this is very important, to always see with your heart and not your eyes, because what your eyes see doesn't matter. It's what the eyes cannot see that's important, because what the eyes cannot see, the heart can and that means you're seeing from heart to heart. Because what you see on the outside is just a shell. But what's on the inside is what makes up that person. That's their personality, um, everything about them. Look, pretend that you are blind and you cannot see at all. How would you judge a person then? You would have to learn how to do it from the heart. And your, if you go by your heart, your instinct won't let you down. Your instincts can lie to you when you use your eyes because what you see is overruling them. But when you can't see, your instincts take over. For those that don't know, people with any physical disability... Um, their other senses pick up. And where I was born with bad eyesight and started wearing glasses like at two years old, I've learned at a young age not to trust my eyes because I can't see very well to begin with. So I've learned to use my heart. And I see people for who they are and what they are because of it. I don't have a lot of anxiety in my life or stress. I mean, just the daily ones that everybody normally has. I've gone through a lot in my life, but I have overcome every bit of it. I am not just a survivor. I'm a warrior. And I want to teach everybody what I've learned through my experiences, what helps and go beyond as much as possible. I want to help you out there to overcome whatever you're dealing with. I want to help you. Yes, you. I want to help you deal with your anxiety and stress or any anger issues. I want your lives to be better. And in doing this, it takes education of the different mental health issues that's out there. So you know you don't just quick to judge somebody because of something. You know, okay, there's probably a problem. And you can deal with it accordingly by that. I want to help you with ways to deal with your own anxiety and stress and anger issues. So that your days are better. 
And I want to teach you ways, you know, go in depth on ways to do this. Everything I do, I'm doing to help you. Because that's the way this world should be. And that's the way I am. I love each and every one of you out there. Yes, I'm talking to you. I'm right up and talking to you. Because you all matter to me. You are so very important. You were created for a reason. And you're beautiful in your own right. Don't ever, ever let anybody tell you different. I don't care what they think. It doesn't matter. Just know that you were uniquely made. And your life matters just like anybody else's. And I love each and every one of you for you. So remember, until I see each other again, have a great day and always see with your heart and not your eyes. Love you all. Bye.